Fantastic to see you. I'm out driving in the Makermobile, and who knows what we're going to see today. Whoa! Toki here. Mini make a message. Hello, I'm Tiana. Hello, Tiana. Can I help you today? Yes, please, Mr. Maker. I'm on my way. <laughs> Must be the place. <laughs> Hello, Tiana. Now, how can I help you today? Can we pick a pattern? A pattern? That's a great idea. But what pattern shall we paint? Let's have a think. Ooh. Ooh. Old cardboard tube. <laughs> Ooh, sorry about that, but this has just given me a great idea. Let's try something. If you want to have fantastic fun, try printing a pattern with string and a cardboard tube. It's brilliant. Let's, Let's make it! But first, we'll need somewhere to make it. Ooh. <laughs> And we'll also need some things from the doodle drawers. I'll be back soon. <laughs> some coloured paper. Some squirty paint and some gloopy PVA glue. <laughs> ah! We also need an old tray. Now, let's have some help to find that. <laughs> oh, Scraps, what's that, a banana? Mm. Oh, great, thank you. I'll have that for a snack later. But right mm. now, I'm looking for an old tray. Can you help, please? Mm -hmm. Brilliant. <laughs> Well done. Thank you, Scraps. Oh. That's just what I was looking for. <laughs> and we also need some wiggly string. <laughs> so then, Tiana, let's print with a cardboard tube and some wiggly string to make a wiggly pattern like this one here. So, are you ready? Yeah. Brilliant. Are you ready? Fantastic! Let's get making. Now, the first thing we're going to do is completely cover our cardboard tube in gloopy glue. You can help me with this, Tiana. Here's some gloopy glue. Now, can you help me cover this tube in glue? Right, where you go. Now, I'm going to leave that there for the moment because it's time to cut a long piece of string. All right. Now, we need to be careful when using scissors because they are... Oh, that's right. That was loud. <laughs> Brilliant. Now we can stick our string to our tube in a wiggly pattern. Just like this. And then leave it to dry. Let's put that to one side. Now, this can get a little bit messy, so it's a good idea to put down some old paper or some newspaper first. And then we need to find some colourful paint. 
that comes in squeezy, squirty bottles like this. Now, Tiana, you hold on to that for me, please, and give it a good squeeze so we have enough paint to cover the tray when we spread it all out. There we go. That looks pretty good, I think. Well done. Now it's time to bring in a clean piece of paper and we're going to roll our wiggly card tube into the paint. In it goes. There we go, right. And now we're going to roll it onto our paper. Look at that, Tiana. Do you like that? Yeah. Let's do it again then. Right, let's get some more paint. Here it goes. Oh, and there it is. Wonderful wiggliness. So did you enjoy that, Tiana? Yes, Mr Maker. Brilliant. And if you enjoyed that, there are lots of other ideas you could try too. You could use two different colours. Or why not try using glittery paint to make a zigzag pattern? Printing a wiggly string pattern is fantastic fun. We made it, Tiana, and now your home is where the art is. High five! Whoa, <laughs> good one. <laughs> what a fantastic wiggly string pattern. Bye, Tiana. <sighs> it's brilliant being out and about in the Makermobile. There's always so much to see and do. And... <laughs> What's that noise? Oh, who could it be? <laughs> I am a shape. I am a shape. I am a circle. I am a triangle. I am a rectangle. I am a shape. I am a shape. I am a shape. I am a shape. What are the squares making today? Can you guess? Any ideas yet? It's a house! Well done, shapes! It's time to get back in the doodle drawers! <laughs> You can see how happy I feel when I'm driving in my maker, 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 maker mobile. <laughs> minute mate time! Hey, it's minute mate time! I'm on my way! <laughs> Here we are. It's Minute Make time, everyone! Yay! That for Mr Maker. Oh, thank you, Mr Postman. I wonder what this could be. Oh, look! It's an envelope card from my friend Robin. It's brilliant. And to make one of these in a minute, you will need, of course, an envelope, a roll of sticky tape and a pen. Now, do you think it's possible to make one of these envelope cards in just one minute? No way! Well, I think I can. I'm going to have to be very quick. But don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yeah! Are you ready? Good. Let's make it in a minute! Three, two, one! Go! 
the clock! Right, we're going to get our envelope and fold it in half like that, and then fold it in half the other way as well, like this. There we go. Fold it down there. And now if we open it up, we're going to pinch this front part here, like that. Give it a little pinch. And if we fold it over, that should give us a beak. It does. Brilliant. Right, let's get our sticky tape roll. Put that in the middle. And this is going to give us a nice circle all the way round. And this will be the body of our robin. There we go, all the way round. And now let's draw on some feathers on the top of the head and on the side there as well. Let's give him another wing here. There we go, some feet. There we go, and of course the rest of his beak. And we're gonna do it! And his eyes as well, just about. And I've made an envelope card! <laughs> Phew, I made it! If you've got more than a minute, you could colour it in. And there are lots of other ideas you could try too. How about this one? A lovely penguin envelope card. Or how about an owl envelope card? It's a real hoot. Or you could try this peacock with lots of feathers. Doesn't he look fabulous? <coughs> envelope cards, why don't you have a go? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Fold an envelope in half and back on itself. Pinch and fold a nose in the flap like this. Draw a circle for the body, add details like wings and a beak, and your envelope card is finished. Why don't you try and make one in a minute? Right, I've got to go, everyone. Goodbye! <laughs> Now, where to next? Hello, Mr. Maker. Oh, nice to see you. Can you guess what we're making today? What are they going to make? I am black. everybody. See you next time. Now watch this. Hello. Are you ready for a big surprise? <laughs> These mini makers have no idea I'm visiting or what we're going to make. Hello. Mr. Maker. <laughs> How are you? Are you OK? Yeah. Well, it's great to meet you. Now, do you like going to the fun fair? Yeah. Me too. Oh, <laughs> roll up, roll up. <laughs> I've got a big idea. I think we can have all the fun of the fair if we make a big coconut shy. Will you help me? Yeah! <laughs> Fantastic! Oh, <laughs> hmm. So, Matthew, Eleanor, Lauren, Andy and Alex, let's make it. Well, we're going to make a coconut shy. Now, coconut shies are great fun. You win a prize if you throw a ball and it knocks a coconut off a pole. So let's start by making our coconut. Now, what does a coconut look like? Brown and it's, it's hard and it's heavy. Now, what could we make our coconut out of, do you think? You could put tissue paper on, glue it together and then get one of them, wrap it around there and then you could make a coconut like that. Great. Now we know how to make our coconuts. We also need to make somewhere to put them. So come on, everyone. Let's go and make it. Come on. Follow me this way. Let's go. We are making the roof of the coconut shark. We're making 
making the back of the coconut shine. Well done. Right, are we finished? Yes! Perfect. Our coconuts are going on these tubes. <laughs> Well done. How's our coconut coming along? Well done. Brilliant. A coconut. Well done. Up a bit that way. Up a bit. What about that? Yeah! <laughs> Thanks for your help. <laughs> We're having great fun making our big coconut shy. So why don't you try making a smaller one to play with at home? Try making a small coconut shy with its own furry coconut friends. Make it, play with it, have fun with it. To make it, you will need a cardboard lid, some cardboard tubes, a pen and a pencil, a ball of modelling clay, scissors, paint and brushes, cake cases, glue, googly eyes, a piece of fun fur and polystyrene eggs which you can get from an art and craft shop. Take a cardboard lid and the three cardboard tubes. It looks good if they're all different lengths. Next, draw circles around the tubes on top of your cardboard lid like this. Put a piece of modelling clay under the lid and push a hole through each circle with a pencil. Then carefully cut out all the holes. Now paint the lid any colour you like and leave it to dry. Paint the tubes a different colour and leave them to dry. Push the tubes inside the holes on top of your lid. And glue the cake cases to the top of the tubes. Next, take a polystyrene egg and cover it in gloopy glue. Now wrap your egg in fun fur and leave it to dry. Do the same for the other eggs. Stick googly eyes onto each egg and your coconuts are ready to play with. Pop each one into a cake case, then all you need is a ball to throw at them. Ouch! <laughs> what a cute little coconut shy. But I wonder how our big one's coming along. <laughs> Hello, everyone. What are we making? Oh, a fence. <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> Ooh, well done. Nearly finished. There we go. Well done, everyone. We made it! Yay! <laughs> Three, two, one, throw! Mr. Maker! Time to go! Oh, that's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. It's time to put the Makermobile back in its box. <laughs> if you like making things, visit bbc.co.uk slash cbbs.